Philadelphia is taking virtual learning to the next level. What may seem like a scene out of a sci-fi movie is real life for some area students. As Natasha Brown reports, this kind of learning is making a huge difference. I'm Taylor King. Back to you, Amy. Aspiring journalists at Temple University are learning the mass communications industry inside their campus studio. Apple states the phone is also able to take... For many of these students, it's their only in-person class since the university went all virtual two weeks into the start of the school year due to rising COVID-19 cases. I'm again in five. Four. Not only is this the only chance these students get to assemble and learn in person, it's also the only class where their professor is in their midst via this robotic presence. Hi. I'm here. The fact that they now have a robot in their classroom, it just sort of makes the whole thing. Of course you do. Of course you have a robot. Of course you do a show from home because everything is different now. Professor Amy Caples worked to make sure she could teach using this telepresence robot. She's home guiding the robot around the studio while giving instructions to students. The robot has a name. The robot was named uh, Sheldon as an homage to Big Bang Theory. Someday, my new formulas on entropy decrease due to quantum decoherence will need to be tested. Shell, as it's nicknamed, is a valuable part of learning, especially in a class where hands-on experience is vital. You really lose a huge part of the pedagogy, which is life in the studio, life in the control room. I feel really grateful that for the students who can do it, can come to campus and learn, you know, the business from the inside out. I'm just so thankful that we can have an in-person experience experience, especially for this type of class that's all hands-on and performance-based. It's funny at first because it's just like her on a little robot, but it's also useful because she's able to like come over to us and talk to us. Shell is a big hit for students embracing a new normal for learning during this COVID-19 era. I want them to embrace how all of us are going about teaching in a brand new world. Uh, and I hope Shell just becomes something that is like part of the experience. Clear. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News. You can tell Professor Caples loves her work and the students love it too.